Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to The Midday. I'm Melanie Lawson. We've got a lot of news to catch you up on, beginning with the latest on the coronavirus pandemic. Mayor Sylvester Turner held a news conference on grocery stores and the food supply in our area. Along with several representatives from the grocery store chains, he emphasized there is no food shortage. He also asked uh, shoppers not to make a run on supplies because there is plenty to go around, using his words. The mayor also said right now the grocery stores need more workers due to the demand. So we urge people who perhaps have uh, been laid off from their jobs right now to apply for those jobs at the grocery stores. Well, Americans are beginning the week with some new rules designed to slow down the spread of the coronavirus. The CDC has issued new recommendations saying gatherings of 50 or more people should not take place for at least the next eight weeks. Some states are ordering bars and restaurants to close. That has not happened here in Texas at least not yet. And some good news to tell you about. Some 2,000 labs are coming online right now to increase the capacity to test people for the virus. And testing of a possible vaccine is also supposed to begin today. We'll get you updated on that later in the day. And some good news for school children. Governor Greg Abbott has announced today he is waiving the STAR test for the school year. That means uh, kids will not have to take the STAR test this year. Most Texas schools, as you might know, are already closed because of COVID-19. And HISD's curbside pickup service for meals got underway today. The district set up food distribution locations at several schools across the city. That means parents can come by and pick up breakfast or lunch for their children. Be sure to check with the district for times and locations. And we want to say a special word of thanks to all of the volunteers who came out to help distribute that food. Well, the famous White House Easter egg roll has had to be canceled as a result of the virus. First Lady Melania Trump announced this morning the health and safety of all Americans is a priority, especially during this ongoing health crisis. The Easter egg roll dates back to 1878. And the last time it was called off was during the Truman administration. Then it had to be canceled due to renovations of the White House. So uh, really surprising that it's been that long. Well, social distancing, you've probably heard a lot about social distance. It's one of the simple ways that doctors are asking all of us to help stop the spread of the coronavirus. Bree Berry explains the best way to put a safe distance between you and other people. The CDC laying out new guidelines asking all events with 50 or more people to be canceled in an effort to keep people from gathering too close to one another. The goal of keeping our distance is to rapidly slow the chance of spreading infection. Here are a few myths about social distancing. No, it's not only for the elderly. It's to slow the spread altogether. Anyone can carry and transmit COVID-19. All of us can commit to slowing it down. It doesn't only spread through coughing and sneezing. It's transmitted through droplets, which means even talking and breathing. And it's not just large mass gatherings that need to be canceled. It only takes you passing one infected person who coughs near you at the bar to infect you. All human interaction does not need to be stopped. The goal is to limit the close physical connection, not emotional. Of course, staying physically disconnected entirely is not possible. We all still need food and medication. Just be more aware of when and where you're choosing to be out. Again, remember six feet is the distance you want to be. Bree uh, Barry there. And by the way, rem uh, remember the former governor of California? He's also a big action star, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well, he's got a message for everyone in this crisis. Stay at home. Public gatherings, restaurants, and large gymnasiums out the window. We stay home. Hey, whiskey, huh? <laughs> Yeah, we used to call him the Terminator. Now he is the Germinator. Schwarzenegger says, listen to the experts and we'll all get through this together. And that's it for now. Of course, we'll have all your latest news coming up this afternoon on ABC 13, beginning at 3 o'clock. But we're here whenever you need us at ABC13.com and your news app. Have a great day. We'll see you later on.